Am I the asshole for telling my niece to stay away from my kids? This screams helicopter dad or even ah, but here I am regardless. And please, if you have any idea of what it sounds like my son might have, please 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 let me know in the comments. His doctor won't evaluate him without going through the school and school is over. My wife and I have my niece every day from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. while her mother sleeps from working the overnight. We have two kids 12f and 6 meters. Now, as you've gathered, my son has issues. He is so quick to anger. Like he has absolutely no emotional regulation whatsoever. He's off the walls entirely. He's always running, jumping, climbing on things, hiding under things, making animal noises like dinosaur noises, etc. Even if he's on his tablet, he will be super involved with his tablet. The only thing that keeps him calm, but he will make squawking or screeching sounds randomly. Like stimming, I guess. But like, even if he is having a fantastic day, all it takes is one super minor trigger and all bets are off. My wife is a fantastic mom. She can usually calm him no problem. But my niece is absolutely a trigger. She purposely makes him feel like he isn't included or she doesn't want him around. But she will make sure to manipulate my daughter into not including her brother too. It's been causing one too many freak outs. Yesterday I absolutely had enough because I have openly told my niece to cut the shit on more than one occasion and she won't. She will wait until I walk away to start shit talking me to my daughter and then will get an attitude and start bossing my daughter around and still not include my son at all. My daughter is sweet as a peach without this girl around and there's no issues usually. But yesterday my niece wouldn't stop so I told her to stay away from my kids. Told her to go play by herself. I told my sister what happened when she picked her kid up and she was pissed at me because it's not my kid's fault that she can't tolerate your son and his behaviors. You're putting too much on her. I told her that it's one thing to not have tolerance and a completely separate issue when it comes to being a bullying asshole. She said I can no longer watch her kid good but now my family is ganging up on me. ETA my daughter doesn't like my niece. Nor does she want to hang out with her. She's asked me several times to not have my niece here but. Even if she did. That has nothing to do with my post. Please stick to the question. Maybe I should have clarified more. My son does not even need to be near my niece. She has gone out of her way several times to go to him while he's on his tablet on the couch too poke at him and cause tension. My son does have issues but he's not always the one causing them. If your son's doctor won't evaluate him, find a new doctor. Not the asshole. She said I can no longer watch her kid. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Like she was doing you a massive favor here. She's going to ask again. Dot say no. Not the asshole. If your niece is triggering your son and knows that but still actively tries to get on his nerves. It seems like your niece is the kind of kid that wants a reaction from others or more attention for something because she really is doing the most. Maybe your son has ASD. It's a very broad spectrum. What kind of symptoms does your son show? Info you post says you're mad because she's leaving him out. But you comments say it's because she's poking at him when he's trying to be by himself. So which is it? Sounds like your son could possibly have ad or is on the spectrum. Esh. It's like no one here has emotional control. Has it occurred to you that your 12-year-old daughter might actually welcome the opportunity to Play with someone closer to her own age without her much younger brother who has serious issues.
Have you been to the doctor and does the school have any ideas? Your description I'd say autism or ADHD. But no one here is a doctor. Especially not with such little information. Do him a favor and take him to the doctor. Having a diagnosis helps kids not feel so different from everyone. Not the asshole for trying to make a safe place for your kids. Each kid should have a safe quiet place they can be. And hopefully your son having a safe place will help him not feel overwhelmed which should ease some of his triggers. Esh. Someone needs to be giving son appropriate sensory outlets. Niece may be ND herself and can't handle the noises and sensory input from your son so she does the only thing she can to make them stop. Too much focus is on the behavior and not enough on the cause and accommodation for everyone. Withholding judgment because this isn't about your niece. It's about your son. I see he has not been evaluated. You need to do that. Get a different doctor. Do you help your son develop social emotional learning? If not, you need to get him a therapist or set up with the school social worker. He needs to work on developing these skills now. These supports don't come out of thin air. You need to fight for them. Not the asshole. I suggest taking the win on no longer watching your niece. As to the family members ganging up on you tell them you sure your sister will be pleased to know. They are willing to step up and care for your niece. Not the asshole no matter what the issues is no one is entitled to free babysitting. You have your hands full with your own kids issues. The family coming for you tell them that your sister is going to be thrilled that they are volunteering their home and time to help her since you have done your part to help at the expense of your son. This is your son's home. He should feel safe and not have someone bullying him. Not the asshole a 10 years old has the capability to follow through on your requests. She does a whole moves shit talking you. Getting an attitude and bossing. She can control these behaviors but chooses not to. The family ganging up on you can open their doors to watch your niece. Your sister lacks insight and empathy. It's best your house return to two kids. Not the asshole. Hopefully you won't have to deal with this anymore. Your sister is doing you a favor. Especially if your kids don't want their cousin to come over. Not the asshole based on the edit. Your niece loves provoking him and then uses that response as an excuse to exclude him. As for what your son has. Take him to a diagnostic psychologist and have them test him. Your doctor doesn't need to be involved in that process. Your son needs to be in OT to help with emotional regulation. I raised three sons. Two have ADHD. In their elementary years they did better in school and focused better if they were involved in athletics. At one point they did three two-hour gymnastics workouts a week. I wouldn't dream of trying to diagnose your son but perhaps added physical play would help him. Gluten allergies can cause emotional dysregulation. My brother used to be so so overwhelming angry. With the barest of triggers. He'd practically black out from rage. Once gluten got removed from the diet he's been so much better. Sounds a lot like your son has ADHD. Might be autism but sounds more like ADHD from my experience. Find a different doctor. Because it could take a long time to figure out the right meds at the right dose. And during school isn't the ideal time to tinker with that. But seriously. Meds for ADHD can be a life changer for your son and your whole family. Not the asshole time to end the babysitting. Niece is old enough to stay home alone. Besides. It's not like she's really alone. Since mom's there. Though she's sleeping.